All right, for our next news report, will be students facing 50 day suspension for saying all lives matter. What are we coming to? Her belief that every life matters set off a firestorm of controversy among students, including the Black Student Union. Politically correct tyranny is afoot at the University of Houston. I was recently made aware of a student at the university who was suspended for 50 days by Student Government Association and ordered to attend diversity training over a reference she made about the Black Lives Matter crowd. She can still go to class, but she can't participate in the student government activities. <clears throat> Hashtag forget Black Lives Matter. Uh, more like all lives matter, wrote a raw hini. Okay, so she wrote, I guess, hashtag forget black lives matter. And then she put more like all lives matter. And she wrote, well, that was raw hini sithi. The vice president of the school student government association. Miss Sithi wrote those words last month just a few hours after five Dallas police officers were assassinated. Her belief that every life matters set off a firestorm of controversy among students, including the Black Student Union. They were among several predominantly, predominantly, <laughs> predominantly African-American groups who de demanded that Miss Sethi be punished for her exercising her First Amendment rights. For her to say on her social media, forget Black Lives Matter. It's almost as if to say if all of us were to die tomorrow. She wouldn't care. BSU President Gadidja Khan told the Washington Post. Just for her to say forget Black Lives Matter is a punch in the stomach, student Nala Hughes told ABC 13 News in Houston. The 100 collegiate men, an organization for black students, also condemned the idea that all lives matter. As of today, African American students do not feel welcome, comfortable, respectful, represented, represented, valued, or even acknowledged at the University of Houston. Read a statement provided to the Post. Students at the University of Houston want to feel adequately, 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 adequately <laughs> represented. They do not feel that this is being accomplished as long as Rahuni Sethi is in office. In order to uh, placate the torches and pitchfork mobs, the Student Government Association gave SGA President Shane Smith full authority to MIDI out a punishment, and Mr. Smith was more than happy to oblige. According to the Daily Curl Cougar, if I said that right, Ms. Sethi was suspended for government activities for 50 days. She was also ordered to attend three cultural events each month. Write a letter of reflection <clears throat> on her Facebook, posting that, posting and make a public presentation detailing the knowledge, the knowledge she has gained about cultural issues facing our society. She was also ordered to attend mandatory diversity training, basically a form of ideological, ideological conversation therapy. It's ironic because I thought the uh, academic lifestyles, I mean, life lefties, academic lefties, lefties were opposed to conversion therapy. Conversion therapy. The first amendment prevents a person from being jailed by the government for what they say. Mr. Smith wrote in a statement, the first am am amendments First Amendment does not prevent people from receiving other consequences for that, for what they say, including workplace discipline. I suspect 
had jail been an option, Mr. Smith would have tossed Miss Sithy in county lockup just to teach her a lesson. It is a fair point that one ignorant social media post alone may not warrant such sanction, sanctions, he wrote. However, serving in a public role means that we are held to a higher standard, and rightfully so. Oh, so Mr. Smith is a schoolyard bully. I'm certain he will grow up to be a fine community organizer. But while Mr. Smith actions, while Mr. Smith's actions are reprehensible, they are not nearly as reprehensible as the actions of the grown-ups who actually run the University of Houston. They provided a statement to the Houston Press trying to dist distance themselves from the actions of the students' government associations. Association. The University of the Houston continues to stand firm in support of free speech and does not discipline students for exercising their con constitutional rights. The statement read, that's true. They just let power-hungry little fascists in training do their dirty work. Such cowardice. Miss Sethi did not return messages. Did not return messages seeking comment. But she did post a statement on Facebook. I disagree with the sanctions taken against me by my SGA because I believe I have done a great deal to better understand the controversy I caused, she wrote. I have also apologized for my words because no student should feel as though I do not have their best interest at heart. Even so, I will abide by the sanctions for as long as they are in place. Miss Sethi has done nothing to warrant an apology. What happened to this young lady is despicable and detestable. She was publicly shamed and verbally flogged because she believes every life has a value. But such an opinion is no longer allowed in the University of Houston where free speech has been strung up by a politically correct lynch mob. Students facing 50 days suspension for saying all lives matter. What are we coming to? So basically, freedom of speech deteriorates.